So I just so happened to click on Instagram. Let me tell you how God work. When God want to reveal truth to you, he will. He will find a way to reveal truth to you. And I didn't even have to pray about this. I don't remember praying about this. So I'm sitting up there. I clicked on the Instagram logo um, icon. And, the you know, the page refreshes. And up top, I kid you not, the first post I see, it's from this, the guy. And it's for his business page. And I'm like... I don't ever remember following him on his business page. So I found I, I found that funny. I was like, what is that? So I click on it or whatever. <laughs> Y'all, I clicked on it and I got the truth. Um, so as I clicked on it, I start to see the cruise pictures. Mind you, I got several pictures from the cruise, but it was always just him. And I'm like, okay, who's taking a picture? He's like, well, I met some people over there, some old people, they cool, whatever on a cruise with some with a chick matter of fact they weren't just on the cruise first he went to go visit her they go to the beach lay out this girl is on in a bikini he's taking picture videos of her butt in a bikini um let's see they going to museums together listen they're doing matching outfits matches them denim outfit listen the whole nine whatever you could think of it was in there sitting on his lap kissing it was just all all, all the videos were there but the proof was there so, totally in shock at this point. I'm not heartbroken because I had already known. So, at this point, I'm just in shock. So, I do what any regular girl would do. Screenshot, 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 screenshot. So, I took all the screenshots and I did. I sent it to him and I was just like, uh, so this what you do? Um, I said, so, I constantly ask you who you were with because I know I'm not stupid. You know I'm not stupid. And you kept telling me it was, uh, uh, you met some people there and all of the time you was with the chick. Oh, what are you talking about? This is just my best friend. I told you you got trust issues. You're a broken black woman. You hurt. You're an angry black woman. You bitter. You bitter. And that's why you're, um, that's why you're saying all of this. And I'm like, so your best friend sitting on your lap? You kissing your best friend? I don't even know him for being that type of guy. That's why. This is some ratchy hood type of stuff that I wasn't trying to get involved. I don't think he even texted me back. He didn't even text me back right away. He texted me like at 8.03 in the morning. I'm really good with timing, guys. 8.03, 8.04 in the morning, he texted me back. He texted me all of this or whatever. And I was just like, just be alone. You're a liar. Nothing you're going to say is going to clear this up because you're not going to tell me the truth anyways. But at that moment, when, that was, uh, I believe, a Friday night when I found that out. And... The next day would have been Saturday, and I remember Saturday. My daughter still wasn't with me. I um, was cleaning, cleaning up, cleaned the whole house. I did laundry. I had washed my car. Like, I did all of that, did um, groceries and everything. And I remember I was in my bathroom. The bathroom was already clean. But I bent over by the sink to pick up something, and this thought, I still remember where I was at that place. And this thought came in my mind, and, like, the Holy Spirit reminded me of the invitation that I got to church. So I text my homeboy and I was just like, hey, do you still go to this? I know it's a year late. Now, mind you, I had to scroll in my DM to find the message. And I text my homeboy and I was like, hey, you know, do you still go to the church? And to my surprise, I believe he responded back right away. He was like, yeah. Um, and I was like, um, I wanted to visit um, if the invite was still open. And he was just like, yeah, text me the information. He texted me his number. He said, he's my number. If you get lost or just so you know, you know somebody there. And I'm so appreciative that he did that. Um, because I think if he didn't do that, I wouldn't have showed up to the church. Honestly, I don't think I would have showed up to the church because I would have had an excuse because I'm really big on, I'm like, oh my God, all these people are going to be looking at me. I'm going to be the oddball. And I had already known it was a small church. I wasn't in one of these mega churches. Like my church is huge. The old church I used to go to. So I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to be around these strangers. People are going to be looking at me. Who is this girl? Where did she come from? Why she look like that? She's this, she's that. I just don't like people looking at me. I don't like eyes on me at all. I really always wish I was invisible sometimes. Anyways. Um, so I ended up going to the church. I woke up the next morning. Um, I woke up late. I didn't wake up late. I believe I was just nervous. I didn't want to. So I looking for something to wear. I'm like, Oh, I don't really want to go. Then I'm trying to fix my hair, did my makeup. And then the church starts so early and I text him why my hair, am I late? And he was like, no, you right on time. I'm just getting ready to head over there now. And I'm like, all right, cool. So we ended up pulling up together at the same time. So I did end up going to the church and it was the best decision ever. I'm so grateful when I was telling my homeboy, I'm grateful for him because he allowed God to use him to invite me to that church. Um, um, I believe that God 
truly truly was working in my favor by allowing the invi invitation to come just at the right time even almost a year later because i didn't start going to the church until like june 2nd i believe was the first time that i actually started going to the church so two months before so this was 10 months later is when i actually went and visit the church and um it had to it, it's only god because my homeboy never reached back out to me never said hey don't forget the invite it was just so happened that at that moment my that it, i remembered perfect timing my daughter wasn't there with me it was just so perfect god's timing that's why i always tell people god's trust god's timing you cannot question what god is doing even when things don't look right even when it looks as though things are not working out for you i was already in prayer for a new church i had just left this relationship that i got in and i know it wasn't of god and then for god to snap and remember that day like i remember i used to tell god um that i wouldn't date because Oh, I didn't want to date because I didn't want to be heartbroken again because I was so hurt from my last relationship and to allow myself to go back they're not pers not pers allowing a God to pursue me that God sent for me but just me choosing okay yeah you you're next come on like just taking gamble with my heart and trials with my heart and God's like I'm gonna take you out of it but I need you to start fresh here I um so grateful for my homeboy but he was obedient and his obedience saved my life, not just my life, but my daughter's life. And by him, by him being obedient, I truly can say that I'm saved by God's grace right now. And I'm truly a new creature. Like I'm totally like some of the, I see my old pictures and I don't even know who I am anymore. I can't remember who I used to be. Um, some of the decisions that I used to make, I can't even make those same decisions anymore. I'm so uncomfortable. Um, my life choices, my words, my actions, everything is completely different. Like I'm a whole new woman now and I'm forever grateful for that. So um, truly have faith in God. Um, pray about whatever you're going through. I think God has a calling for everybody. He calls us out in his own timing. It, I don't think that I could have done this or to say that I'm safe because I woke up and I just want to be this holy roller and I'm just, I made that decision. I really think God called me out of this world. Like he really picked me up and said, here, you're, you, this is where I want you to be right now. You're no longer part of that world. I need you to give up that life right now for this life. And it was a life that I knew nothing about. I remember praying and telling God that I wanted to raise my daughter up in a holy lifestyle. I wanted to um, be an example to my daughter. Um, I'm getting emotional just thinking about it. Um, I remember being in prayer and just asking God to help me raise her because I wanted to raise her right. Uh, and I think my daughter is such a significant part of who I am today. Because it was times where I re not regretted having my daughter, but I regretted the act that I committed that allowed me to go through that. Because I've always been, and anyone who knows me back in high school and middle school, I remember I used to always have my life all planned out. And I knew that I was going to get married and, you know, I always wanted a whole tight-knit family. And I felt bad that I didn't provide that to my daughter. I always felt like I felt her in a sense. And... I'm like, God, will I ever do right by her? Will I ever raise her in the house, home, the household that I always wanted? And I'm so full now. Uh, um, I'm so full now. I'm like a different woman. And um, I'm glad that she's around. And we are taking this journey together. We are truly taking this journey together. She gets to see um, the transition. Um, she is at age where she can remember things now um and that's a joy like the timing of god is just so perfect man the timing of god is perfect so that is my journey on how i became saved i have been rolling with christ ever since june 2nd was my first time at ch at that church june 9th is the day that i decided to rededicate my life to christ and ever since then you guys it has been the best day of my life every day has been the best day of my life so many things have changed for me i've changed positions at work um I graduated college um I'm such a better mom now um I was a great mom before but I'm an amazing mother now um my decisions have changed my friends have changed um I'm a whole new woman out here man I'm a whole new woman out here honestly honestly and I'm just so grateful I'm so grateful for God. I'm so grateful for my um, friend that invited me to the, to the church. I'm so grateful for my church family. I'm forever grateful for my pastor. Um, I'm so grateful for my pastor. And 
Most importantly, I'm honored to be a child of God. I am honored to walk this life out. I'm honored to demonstrate faith in Christ every day to my peers and those around me. I'm honored to um, allow people to know that God really truly does, does exist and he answers prayer. I'm an answer. Every day I remember that God answered my prayers. So I have the opportunity to remind people every day how great God is. And that's also been a joy and a blessing in itself. So that's why I created this channel. I wanted to document my journey. I wanted to document um, to be open. One of the things that I think that I have struggled with over the years is that I'm such an introvert and I'm so closed off that the people around me periodically I'll open up to and let them know, hey, this happened, that happened. But I think it's a whole world of people out here that really truly need to hear the amazing thing that God is doing. And if there's only one other person in this world that I can help get saved just by my story, my job here would be done. And I am grateful to have been a carrier of God's word and to reveal his truth to the world. So that is my story. Um, so much more has happened in between in the midst of that. And later on, I'll continue to share it with you guys. But this is just the beginning of it. Um, so thank you for tuning in again to another, to another video. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys.